When I was a kid, I used to watch TV and wonder how they invented it. I would think that everything that can be invented has been invented and it was too late to discover something new. No one told me that some things could be rediscovered. In this video, we will tell you the story of how they rediscovered the fire. The fire first tamed by Homo erectus some hundreds of thousands of years ago. Homo erectus was a species of human from 1.6 million years ago. They characterized by their height, larger brains than previous apes and superior stone tool making. And they were the first one that can hunt mammoths. By 500,000 BC, they had spread across Africa, Europe, Asia and even Indonesian islands. They could walk to Indonesian islands because back then the earth was in ice age. They adapted to changing environments during ice age by living in caves. The earliest signs of Homo erectus in Asia were found in a cave near Beijing and there were clues of campfires. It suggests that humans discovered fire around half a million years ago. While fire naturally occurred in an environment, humans were initially apprehensive and unaware of how to utilize it. Homo erectus however domesticated fire, with the exact process remaining a mystery. According to Isaac Asimov, it may have stemmed from a child's curiosity and youthful bravery while playing with fire. Fire changed everything. It fueled human activity in the dark and cold while also deterring predators and improving hunting success. Also, they cooked meat and plants with fire, improving taste, safety and digestibility. Homo sapiens, modern humans, not to brag but invented even more important of a thing than fire, scientific method. While trying to understand how heat moves, we invented the science of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the science of the relationship between heat, work, energy and matter, offering a fundamental framework for predicting and understanding their behavior in physical and chemical processes through its four laws. The first law of thermodynamics states that the total amount of energy in the universe is constant. None could be created nor destroyed, but can be converted from one to another. Children discovered fire thanks to their naive confidence. Adults feared the fire, knowing it turned to heat could burn. The first law is the tale of this transformation. The chemical potential energy is transformed into heat, light and mechanical energy sometimes. The first law is optimistic. Since no energy can be destroyed, it might seem that energy is always there to be used over and over. However, the second law states that some energy is always lost as heat that never be converted completely. The second law is entropy and entropy is chaos. The amount of entropy in the universe always increases and will someday reach a maximum when no useful energy is left and disorder is total. In fire, this is evident as fuel molecules break down into water vapor, carbon dioxide and ash contributing to higher energy entropy. You can't convert the ash into energy again. So Homo erectus often lost their fire, maybe every day. The second law states that because entropy destroys everything we do, we must start over every new day. We burn a new fire again and again because that's life. The third law of thermodynamics states that when temperature nears absolute zero, that's zero Kelvin, the entropy tends to reach a minimum, a constant value. Value. But the earth never experienced such a cold. In the coldest day on earth ever, the temperature dropped to 183 kelvins. In nature, you can't ever reach zero kelvin or the absolute minimum entropy. That's why it is impossible to light a fire that would burn forever. Every fire that Homo erectus ignited burned out because of the laws of thermodynamics. There is also a fourth law, but because it was so obvious and easy one, they'd call it the zeroth law. It that if two systems are in thermal balance with a third system, they are also in thermal balance with each other. Anyway, thermodynamics is rediscovery of fire. It means that you can also rediscover something. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe to support us. Thank you for watching and we will see you next week.